Hi Taurus, it's and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance, and then possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the Lovers, Major Arcana. A beautiful card. This is a card of a deep uh, and real emotional connection with someone else. So whether you are dating someone or hoping to date, this is a focus on relationships and relationships that are uh, very attractive to you. It's almost like... Uh, uh, meeting the other half. You're just wondering, wow, where have they been all my life? Here they are. And so with the lovers, there's a sense here of, you know, the possibility that this be could become serious because when we look at the lovers card, there are often uh, discussions on whether this can last, whether you're going to be moving in together, getting married, it can lead to something significant and transformative as well. You know, here, the couple, they're, they're naked. And with that nakedness, it, it's a, it's putting it, uh, putting your vulnerability out there. That you're saying that it's, it's I'm going to take my chances here. I'm going to uh, build intimacy with this other person. I'm going to love and give love. And, you know, if I get hurt, I get hurt. So this is a powerful card. It's about relationships. Yes, it typically deals with romantic relationships, but for some who are not seeking a partner, it can go to your other meaningful and deep relationships. Some business relationships are almost like marriages. Some, uh, you know, friendships have outlasted many partnerships with a romantic partner. So the lovers uh, is a lovely focus and awareness for the week. It's the awareness of your relationship that's important to you. So we have the star, another major arcana card. More nakedness. <laughs> Here she's pouring water into the pond and onto the land without her clothes. And what does this tell us? It tells us that you're comfortable with who you are. That again, you're open you're not afraid of being yourself. The star often comes in after a challenging time within our life and, and we look to the stars for guidance. We look, um, we're looking to really heal here, to heal physically and spiritually. And we're allowing the universe kind of to help lead the way and that's with the star. With the stars, we wish upon a star. The big message with the star is having faith and hope in your future that despite whatever struggles you have, that you uh, need to believe that the universe is going to put you in the right direction, put you in the right opportunities, going to lead you with the breadcrumbs. And so here we have transformative love and then we have really some self-love as well with the star. Now let's take a look at guidance. So interesting, we have some sword energy. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this, the air signs. Again, the page of swords is uh, this youthful energy. So whether this is someone who is young within your family or in your work or a child, there's uh, a sense here of looking over your shoulder, you're looking over your shoulder ready to deal with whatever's coming your way. Look at the gray clouds. Look at the wind blowing the tree back. He's on, uh, looks like he's on solid ground and he's ready for adversity. Swords can mean trouble. It could be uh, things coming up that maybe are unpleasant or a challenge or an obstacle. But he's aware and he's focused and he's going to rely on his smarts. Even though he's young and inexperienced, 
He's going to rely on his intelligence to deal with whatever's coming up. Problem solving, thinking through scenarios or situations. So guidance to you is to use your head, use your analysis, get to the heart of the matter, look for the truth in a situation. If there's a little bump in the road, look for the truthfulness of it, of what's happening. Try to look at all of the angles, all of the perspectives within this scenario. So interesting with Page of Swords, here's the Five of Swords. And this is a card about, it's really a battle in many ways. It's a, either an argument or a conflict and there's a clear winner and there's people walking away in defeat. So is this an argument or discussion or disagreement that is worth it to you to come out on top? Or is it something where you'll just lay down your sword and say, I'm not, I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want any part of this discussion. Maybe that's the thinking that you've gone through, the analysis that you've gone through. So, you know, how do we deal with these situations? We either hold our ground and we decide we're going to come out on top of this. The take no prison prisoners, the winner takes it all. Or we're going to say, I'm okay with the outcome of not being on top because I'd rather save a friendship or I'd rather save a relationship. But this is about an argument or conflict of someone trying to come out on top. Let's see what the possible outcomes are. So possible outcomes. Here's the two of cups, a beautiful, beautiful card. Scorpio, Pisces, water signs, our emotions. But more importantly, this is a balanced relationship, a relationship of equals, of people who um, see each other for who they are. You can see they're eye to eye, the, the cups are at the same distance. And this, again, this, along with the lovers, really bodes well for a loving relationship. If you are not in a relationship, it's put yourself in a position to meet people. You know, you, you have to mix and mingle. You have to put yourself out there. Again, deep emotional connection with someone else. Relationships, it's a harmonious relationship. A relationship built on solid ground and where there's joy and delight in, the, in being together. Really, what more could you ask? It's wonderful between the lovers, the star, and the two of cups, and then here with strength, a fabulous card, Major Arcana. We see the woman here gently handling the lion. The lion is courage, but more importantly, this soft touch goes a long way. So it's really great advice, which is in relationships, not to be heavy handed, not to force your views or to try to force an outcome, but to discuss influence through kindness and compassion, through gentleness. Gentleness is important and particularly in situations where people are not uh, you know, not getting along perhaps. This other idea here with this strength card is that you have incredible strength within and it's always available to you and to, you have to believe in that and you have to access it. So you have the strength to deal with whatever adversity may come your way, whatever bump in the road if there are bumps in the road with respect to your relationship, I would say that that's part of the growing experience and that between the lover's card here and the healing and having faith in the future with the star and the two of cups here, along with strength is that uh, the love piece feels very strong for you and that you are in a wonderful position to have a deep and satisfying connection with someone else. 
So, you know, let me try to get these in the frame here. Uh, you know, if you're single and you're looking, put yourself out there. If you're in a relationship, it's about deepening the bond, enriching, rekindling, expressing how you feel for someone. So let's take a look at the Oracle cards and we'll get a sense of meditation area or focus area for the week. I'm just going to do it like this. Staying focused. Hold the course. Hold the course. Staying focused. Well, keep your eye on the prize. And so staying focused if you're in a relationship, being attentive and being loving and gentle and compassionate. Let's see what your uh, spirit or emotional self message is. Reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So reaching out, asking for support, heart, uh, again, I would say the healing nature of the star. Reach out, um, accept help, but really this is the passive, the stillness of the star. It's about restoring yourself, restoring your faith, um, believing. And finally, let's get a message for love since we do see some very powerful love cards in your weekly reading. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Turn on your heart light and shine your heart light. If you're single, beam it out there so people can see you and find you. If you're in a relationship, be loving, be open, just like the couple here, ready for whatever comes their way taking a chance, uh, being open to the wonderful aspects of relationships and sometimes the challenges as well. And uh, through that, you become stronger and build, you know, really powerful relationships. So I wish you the best in life and love this week. And I hope you have a super week. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And um, I hope to see you next week for another reading. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.